preaching in, when it is real preaching. You don't have to sell it. It's not for sale. Because the preacher knows that he is preaching to those who God has elected and the Spirit has saved. And when God elects and the Spirit saves, preaching makes a difference in the hearer's life because it has made a difference in the preacher's life. Let me see if I can make that make sense. For our gospel came to you not in word only but also in power. And the gift of God is eternal life. And if you're on the wrong road, turn around. Jesus is not one of the answers. Jesus is the only answer. Jesus is a rock in a weary land. A shelter in a mighty storm. A way out of nowhere. A friend when you're friendless. Bread when you're hungry. And I don't hardly ever get through. But I'm telling you, I know he's all right. Because he's made so many ways. He's opened so many doors. He's been so good to me. In spite of my divorce, in spite of my mother's passing, in spite of preachers lying and talking about me behind my back, in spite of members leaving this church with a misunderstanding, God has been good. If I can bring back beauty to a world uproar, if I can spread love's message like my master taught, in my living shall not be a man. You became followers of us and of the Lord. Because you received the word with much affliction. Some people are in here right now don't know how tomorrow is going to turn out. You're worried about your bills. You're worried about your son. You, you're worried about your house. You're worried about your health. And when you come in here on Sunday morning, you want to look in the pulpit and see somebody who's been struggling with the text, somebody who's been wrestling with the word and, and asking God what it is that you want me to say to your people on Sunday morning. And then when you leave here on Sunday morning, you might still have the same problems you had before you came in, but you have a better spirit about it. You have a better outlook. You have a better attitude because the preacher has spoken a word of assurance in your affliction. But it is not until the preacher gets honest about his preaching that he can really touch people in their affliction. It's time for the church to fight. Hold it. We are not going to spread the gospel into this whole world through the cleverness of our minds, but in the power of the Holy Spirit. I don't care what you think about the words. Let me ask you, are you clothed with power from on high? Because if preaching doesn't do anything, it ought to change somebody's life.